A garlic head is composed of garlic cloves, so there is several cloves in one head. To separate the cloves, break the head a little bit, press down, remove the first layer of skin, and separate the cloves. Okay? Then cut both hands and peel off the skin. The skin of fresh garlic can be sticky sometimes, so it's uh, normal. It's the oil of the garlic. Before you chop your garlic after peeling it, there is something you must learn. Garlic has two elements that are not edible, at least one that nobody eats. It's the skin or the peel, and the second one is called the germ of the garlic. Let me show you what it is. Simply cut lengthwise the garlic clove through the core and pick up the germ. So you see from the root side here, it's growing on the inside. Okay, eventually this little thing here, some people call it the seed, will become green when it germinates. This is why we call it the germ. So with the point of the perineum, just pick it up, you see? And do the same part for the other half of the garlic clove. The germ of the garlic here is a weapon of mass destruction, a nuclear bomb waiting to explode in your stomach. This is full of acid combined with the enzymes of your stomach. This will make a chemical reaction and you will be burping all day, eating garlic. You may have a bad breath and even worse, sometimes some people will have stomach ache. So if you like the people you cook for, you must take it off. Okay? In my cooking, I love everybody, so I always remove it. So from now on, no more germ of garlic in your food, ever. Deal. To chop the garlic, there are several techniques out there. The first one, and the most common one you will see on TV and in many books, is to crush garlic or to cream the garlic. Personally, it's not something I teach and I don't recommend it. My job is to teach you how to cook safely. So why will you send your hand towards a sharp blade? It's not safe. So do not do that. Leave that to chefs on TV that cook with garlic and with the gel. Okay? So in order to chop the garlic, you have two options. Option number one is to slice the garlic and then mince it up and down. Okay. The garlic may be sticky a little bit, so you can put a pinch of salt on your garlic to prevent sticking. Tiny bit of salt. And you will continue. The second option is to use a garlic press. I know, it's not very professional, but I prefer you to use a garlic press rather than to crush the garlic like so. Okay? So, slice all your garlic. And mince. So, we go back to the mincing technique. Clean the blade. Move the food back into a neat pile and mince it until it's very fine. Here my garlic is finely minced, but why not to sizzle the garlic, sizzle or to dice the garlic finely? So with my index finger, I'm going to position it on the top of the clove and I'm using a paring knife, I'm going to make many parallel cuts. There we go. Maybe one more here. There we go. Then, like so. And finally, put it in small cubes. This is pretty fine, and it's pretty fast. There we go. I suggest 
you practice both ways and in any case you know what you have to do when you use garlic remove the gel